Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to another drinks review. Today we're reviewing this uh, Iron Brew 1901 flavour edition, whatever you want to call it. So I got this out of a, I think this one was out of a corner shop or something like that, I can't remember, a convenience store, something like that. And can't remember the price, but I think it was uh, £1, £2, something like that. Anyways, let's give you guys a 4360 of the can. So we have a 330ml can, which is obviously the same size as the Coke cans, but these are obviously taller and narrower rather than shorter and wider. So obviously this is a massive throwback to the kind of original Iron Brew recipe back in 1901, which is... It's so hard to imagine stuff back then and that iron brew was like a maid and even a thing back then. It's just so hard to imagine it. But there we go. It's, um, you know, it is what it is, isn't it, with the companies. But so, yeah, to sum it up, it's literally, they brand back the old style of recipe. I don't know whether it's actually made the old way, whether it's still done by machine, because I'd be, that was very hard to do it the old way, but, you know, it's, 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 apparently meant to be the original recipe as such but anyway so let's give you guys a full look at the packaging so, so i've been turning it around there so we got kind of a retro style font on there you know the old kind of style font the old style right and looks fairly cool again it's very retro stuff like that which is nice and cool and then we've just got the ingredients stuff on the back on the bottom we've got nothing and on the top we've finished off on that lovely goldy bronze uh topping which i absolutely love on cans so anyways Taking a closer look, so brewed to the 1901 recipe, old and unimproved. Uh, what does that say? That says uh, an invigorating, refreshing tonic beverage, as that's what it was probably called. Bars Iron Brew 1901, a very special vintage. The original, none genuine without this signature, and it's got AG bars signature on there as well which is fairly cool obviously copy and paste but that's the original signature so iron brew 1901 taste the first ever iron brew recipe brewed just as we used to in 1901 made from gird girders g-i-r-d-e-r-s girders 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 yeah girders it's brilliantly sweet and caffeine free with a cheeky we we he hide on it Oh, the Scottish language. It's, it's still that taste you can't describe because there's nothing like it. Not back then, not now, not ever. Yes, okay. And the sugar content is 11 grams per 100 mil because obviously back then they just did use actual real sugar. Okay, so a little bit confusing on the back there with some of the language. Not many, it's like so much condensation on the air can because it's boiling hot today. So the cans are really steaming up where they've been in the fridge. So we'll give that a quick dry so it doesn't stop leaking, but there we go. Anyways, so it's nice and cold, got my Zesty Lime Studios cup. So nevertheless, let's open it and hopefully it won't explode over me. So I'm guessing the colour is going to be normal colour of iron brew, which again is that kind of like orangey kind of iron looking type colour. The smell and taste, well, I don't I don't mind iron brew sugar free. I do have the bottle on the odd occasion, you know, of iron brew sugar free, but it's not my first pick and I don't drink it regularly whatsoever so it'll be interesting to see how this one does fare up even if even if I could can tell the difference but hopefully it doesn't explode over me there we go so and the color is surprise surprise it's the same color there we go oh quite a lot of foam on there quite a lot of bubbles definitely wasn't expecting that much in foam in fact that's a hell of a lot of foam actually almost like coke or something like that so definitely wasn't expecting that well the foam dies down and disappears so we take a closer look at that color and yes we have that lovely orangey kind of burnt again orange style color which is nice and it is kind of see-through as you can see my face through the drink so these bubbles are insane let's pour a bit more see if we can get rid of them bubbles hmm, kind of oh no it's going up again don't overflow. So we'll have a sip in just, uh, sorry, a smell just in a second, see if I can smell it, but it should just smell of iron brew. Oh yeah, it smells of iron brew. Now, again, iron brew is one of those things, like it says on the back of the can, iron brew is 
iron brew it tastes of iron brew it's its own individual thing so it's i'm trying to describe it as much as i can to obviously other iron brew drinks but yeah it just smells of iron brew it almost smells tangy in a way though which is interesting whereas the new iron brew seems to be a lot softer in smell yeah it smells like it's got a little bit of tang to it or something like that it's probably the best word maybe tang well this should be interesting nevertheless guys let's taste some Hmm, interesting. I mean, obviously bearing in mind, this is obviously full sugar as well. Whereas if I do drink iron, but like I said, it's always a sugar free one now. So just bear that in mind. I mean, it's, it's, it's fine, it's okay, it seems like iron brew. I think the main I think the main problem I've got with this 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 specific review is that I haven't drank the full sugar iron brew for well I think since I actually reviewed the original full sugar iron brew many many years ago. And I think even if I did review the original and it's been such a long time since I have actually reviewed uh well just iron brew in general because I just don't really in fact there's been there was a tropicana ice cream flavor recently but they're obviously flavored special editions and they were both sugar free anyway so i think if this is maybe like the the full sugar compared to now i really don't know how to compare it in that because i haven't you know if, if i know they can't change it to sugar free because that's how the original blend was so i'm trying to explain myself that makes sense to the point where i can't really compare this as such to current full sugar iron brew because if i do drink the same it's sugar free so i'm just going from what i can um but comparing it to the sugar free one regardless even though this has 11 grams of sugar it really doesn't seem that sweet to bunch of you or that syrupy which is not a bad thing you know it's not a bad thing that it doesn't taste super super sweet and overly sweet just because it's got 11 grams of sugar which again most days that amount of sugar is now unheard of unless you literally go for like red Bull or monster or something like that I know this isn't any drink, but just for comparisons, um, because so many other drinks obviously drop drop the uh, sugar count. So I think, yes, in essence, if you just gave this to me, I wouldn't know it's Iron Brew 1901 at all. You know, you probably just say, well, okay, it's just the current kind of full sugar one, because like I said, I don't drink it. So to me, this is just normal Iron Brew, but the full sugar one. And then again, I don't even think original Iron Brew today is full sugar I, I can't think if they've halved the sugar or made it a quarter sugar or whatever so again that's a different play on thing but ultimately again try not to ramble too much we're trying to i'm trying to explain this drink but ultimately i wouldn't know it's 1901 maybe if you're a hardcore seasoned you know iron brew drinker or you drink iron brew on tap up in scotland because scotland's one of the only well it's the only place you can get iron brew on tap in the world i think um and on and on tap if you're not in england i mean by it's you can literally get it as like beer is like you know on the tap where they pull the tap down this is you can literally get iron brew on tap in scotland in certain pubs like out of the proper kegs it's because it's obviously brewed and made of scotland which is insane um so yeah i literally wouldn't know the difference maybe i said people who drink it every day will find out but really in essence it's nothing special it's it's cool kind of like oh, excuse me guys fizzy like it's cool kind of a throwback and stuff but you know if coke or someone came out with their original blends even though they claim it's their original taste since 18 whatever they've, since they've been around i just you know i just don't really see it's certainly in today's market with sugar-free drinks and stuff like that it's obviously i mean definitely pick this up and give it a try to see if you can tell the difference but it's just a little it's just a little quick play to sell some more units i guess i mean i bought one didn't i just did a review i was i never would have bought it so there we go but in all honesty yeah i can't tell the difference it just tastes of iron brew and that's it and that's all i can say about the drink the question is though how many zesty shall i give this out of 10. well that's a tough question because 
Well, I don't know. I think an all lesson's probably just a seven. Just a seven. Because I said, I don't mind Iron Brew. I do like Iron Brew. And this is okay. You know, it, it's Iron Brew. But I just drink the sugar free. So I think seven zesties out of ten. But um, yes, as anyways, viewers, thank you for watching. And I'll see you all later. Thank you.